identify pretty easy the, the, the different workspaces using this amazing extension. Hey masters, as you probably know, Visual Studio Code uh, is a lightweight, powerful source code editor, right? Where you can program in different languages, such as Java, JavaScript, Python, and so on. There are a lot of, of possibilities with this with this particular editor, right? But, uh, well, we are, I, I wanted to present you five amazing extensions that could help you to, well, actually manage uh, and share your code easily. And I don't know, maybe you want better quality in your code, we're gonna see one extension for that. And if you want to ident your code as soon as you save it, you're gonna have another extension. So please stay until the end because you're gonna learn a lot of this video. And if you like it and you support it with with uh, with with comments and subscriptions, uh, well, of course, I'm gonna bring more of this content for you the next week, okay? Let's go. Um, well, I'm gonna start with this amazing extension here, which is Code Snap. Code Snap is a, an extension that allows you to take beautiful screenshots of your code. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna come here to my Cypress project. If you don't know, in this channel, you're gonna find a, a playlist where you're gonna be capable to learn Cypress IO to perform automation, end-to-end -end automation. If you wanna mm, learn more about it, you're gonna have free content in this, in this channel. Just go ahead and look for that particular playlist, okay? Uh, I'm gonna come here to my extension uh, market, okay? And I'm going to be looking for code snap, okay? I, I just find it in the first position. I'm gonna install it right away. And you're gonna see that it was pretty easy. I'm gonna come here to my code. Let's imagine that I want to, uh, I don't know, maybe share with my peers or in my social network, this particular piece of code that I have here. I'm gonna click, right click on that. And I'm gonna be clicking on code snap option in the sub menu, okay? And you're gonna see that my code now is formatted and presented in, in, in a snapshot way, right? And we can save this image in our computer easily. I'm gonna save it in my music carpet or folder. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna access from my explorer. Okay, in the music part. And you're gonna see that now we have a, a very beautiful snapshot of our code formatted and ready to be shared. So I hope that you enjoy this particular extension because I think it's a pretty interesting one, right? I'm gonna delete it and let's continue with the next extension. The next one is Peacock. This extension is going to help you because it allows you to change the color of your visual code workspace. Let's imagine that you are working with a Vue.js um, workspace and you have another one with php or i don't know maybe with python and you want to differentiate it or differ differentiate them with different colors so you can access and manage them easily so you're gonna have a kind of dispute with for example the workspace that handles view in green and maybe the python one in in blue i don't know right so let's go ahead and install this extension pretty fast over here in my uh, walk my extension market and well, let's go, let's go and do it. I'm gonna install it right away. And now that it is ready and installed in my computer, uh, it is pretty easy to configure. It, I, I can use F1, right? Or I can use Control Shift P, okay? And I'm gonna be looking for Peacock, okay? Change to a favorite color over here. And now I can be capable to, well, actually select one of the pre predefined customized uh, themes, for example, in this case, this is a JavaScript project, so I can use it in, in yellow, but here I don't, I have another one that, for example, uses uses PHP, so let's imagine that I want to, well, uh, use a, a, a green color there for that particular project. So now I can identify pretty easy the, the, the different workspaces using this amazing extension. I think that it's an interesting one as well. Okay, guys, let's continue with the next extension, the material icon theme, right? This extension, as you can see, when, when we don't have anything installed, uh, well, the folders doesn't have a kind of icons, the JavaScript files, for example, only say JavaScript as, as the icon itself. But with this particular extension, you're gonna have like more life in your uh, extension files and in your folders because you're gonna have like more information in, in the in the folder as soon as, as soon as you can see them, right? So let's go ahead and install this. So you're gonna be capable to see the change in my project, okay? I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna look for 
the material icon theme one and install it and you're gonna see that right away the folders were changed and now we have for example a cypress folder where with a, an icon specifying that this is for cypress we have also the visual code uh, folder over here to set that have the the settings of the workspace color right or if you come here inside of the the javascript file now we have a a new icon for the JavaScript files and so on, right? Or here you have a new one for JSON files. I don't know, it's really interesting and it could help you to, well, actually have more life in your project, I guess, right? <laughs> okay, guys, let's continue with the next one. Um, let's see, Do -do -do. I think that now it is working, correct. Let's continue with the next one. The next one is Sonar Lint. This amazing uh, extension is going to, actually uh, give you some help to de detect code quality and code security issues on the fly okay let's let's start with the demo because it's pretty interesting Let, i'm gonna look for sonar sonar lint okay i'm gonna install it right away and i'm gonna be opening this test.js file that i have here notice that uh, we don't have any problem here because well javascript is not compiled and sometimes we don't have like hints about what is wrong in our code but as soon as the sonar lint is activated you're gonna see some problems here uh, some suggestions about how you can modify and upgrade or actually update your code to have more uh, efficient or i don't know maybe um yeah more clean code in your in your file okay in this case this is this is for javascript and you can see that he, here we have some problems for example it is saying that this i variable should have let const or variable keyword to the declaration and of course we should do that we need to declare the let a variable at the beginning right so we are, are going to, we're going to be a uh, we're going to be cleaning or actually fixing our code right away with that particular suggestion also let's take a look of that because it is saying that we should remove this useless assignment to my variable my data but this is because the another error that i have here because i do have two my data declarations one in in the forest scope and other one in the upper score over here so i think that we should delete this one and you're gonna be see you're gonna see that we have get rid of two problems over here right and then we are also or actually it is suggesting to add the let in the another uh, variable that was not declared correctly and now you can see that the code seems to be working fine and we don't have any other suggestion so i think that this is a very interesting um, extension that can help you to fear and actually look for a quality issue a quality issue code right that can be of, of course um, improved okay that's interesting also i have seen that uh, if you have a kind of security um, kind of breach you're gonna have another problem suggestions actually uh, well saying that you must refactor this code because uh, the, the extension knows some existing problems security problems that, that can be happening with your code okay that's good let's continue with the last one for this video which is prettier okay but if you support this video as, I, as i'm telling you uh, you're gonna see another video having more extensions like better comments npm thunder client bookmarks and docker okay so please hit the like button over here and subscribe to watch more of this kind of videos okay prettier is going to help us right because prettier um let me see why prettier is important um prettier is going to help you to ident your code in in the way as soon as you save your code it is going to ident the code correctly or if you want to i don't know maybe in javascript you can use ticks right or um, quotes or or back ticks and you only want to have quotes in your code you can standardize that kind of code formatting right let's go ahead and, and try to i'm gonna try to explain you how it works i'm gonna come here i'm gonna look for prettier and there it is. I'm going to install it right away and I'm going to come here to my test.js file. Okay. You're going to see that I'm going to be deleting the spaces and the indentation in my code. Okay. And as soon as I save the code, it is going to be indented right away. But also, for example, if I change the, the quotes here to a tick 
and I save the code, you're gonna notice that every single part of my code is gonna be identical correctly, but also the quotes are back because that's it's the standard that I have configured. In the official documentation, you're gonna come here and you're gonna be capable to configure the different, well, the, the things that you want, right? So uh, if you want to add semicolon, you can do it. If you want single quote, you can do it. Uh, the, the, the width a bit that you need in your code, you can well, actually do it here and so on. You're gonna have a lot of options to standardize your code and have like, well, beautiful code right away as soon as you are typing and, and it is gonna be formatted correctly. So thank you guys. This is What's Your Media. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As, as I'm telling you, please let me know if you want another video with this information because I'm gonna do it right away for the next week, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Um, Hope that you enjoy it and see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.